So we're here today at the BDS Legends at Antistinog, um, but I don't think it should be called Legends, I think it should be called the Jace McCroy Memorial and it sort of commemorates 20 years after his death, um, so I think we should go and find some Legends. So our first legend, proper legend, old school, bloke I always used to look up to, top racer, <laughs> Rob Warner. Yeah. Ace to see you, dude. All right, mate. How are you, Jim? All, all right. right. Thank you. First of all, I fucking love your car. Lovely Jag, isn't it? Hey, mate, look at that. It's 1,200 brilliant. quid. Fella died up the road. I was there like a shot off him, 300 his son. He said, no, give us 1,200 quid. It's yours. I did. That's far on Mint, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So the, the, what I want to ask you really is, uh, the, I don't know, it's a Legends race, but I don't think Legends is really what Jason it's McCoy about. Jason Memorial race yeah, would be yeah. a better title for it. I don't know where the Legends things come from. But. Have I heard, I, did I hear right that it's your idea? No. No, I don't think it was my idea, no. Yeah. I, probably a bit of the inertia might have got going with, like, I entered, I, I, I was going to do the Nationals and I didn't have a bike ready because I wanted to do, basically for me to ride for Jace, to yeah. me, it's personal with Jace, you know, right. I got a bit sad thinking about it before his date come up, you know, because more because like 20 years had passed and, um, you know, it was like missed all that shit he'd missed out on really. Yeah, yeah it, hit me, it hit me pretty hard. And then I thought, I don't know, probably thinking about all the good times I had with him and that got me in, got me into wanting a bike. Because I, 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 when I quit, I, I quit in 2006 was my last World Cup. I didn't do anything since. So it's nearly 10 years for me since I've ri raced. I've ridden three days on that and once otherwise I was not touched a downhill bike I was that burnt out with it yeah yeah but yeah so that was it and then I missed that and then I, I rung science so can I ride this didn't have any points so he, he might have made that legends category then or something because I'm not allowed to ride masters right. I tried 20 yeah. masters online and got booted out yeah. so that's it anyway it doesn't matter does it we're here a load of lads are here and we're gonna have a race around tomorrow it won't be much fun it's pretty deadly serious and um, <laughs> we're going to do a, a, a ride down and remember Jace as well. So I think it's nice for all us lads at noon just to remember him in our own way, really. What better yeah. than doing this, you know? Exactly. So we're here with the ultimate legend, the legend of all the legends. <laughs> and I've got to say, it's an absolute honour to be classed in the same category as you. Um, so firstly, Jace McCroy. What did he mean to you and how has he influenced you? Oh, Jason was massive for all the UK downhill scene. I mean, he was the first guy to take on the rest of the world, go out to America and prove what he was made of and, and get a big sort of deal, get yeah. a big bike deal. He was specialised and uh, him and his dad just maxed their credit cards out. I think it was... Um, Nine, in the 93, maybe 94 was the season when he actually got his specialised deal. Um, 93 maybe actually he went and took him on at, at Mammoth did the kamikaze he got a name for himself and then uh, got on specialised and it was massive for the whole UK downhill scene I mean me and Warner and Will and quite a few other guys were coming up at that time and uh, Jason was our inspiration and he was an icon he was a, he was he was what we all wanted to be yeah and what sort of age were you then I would have been 19 20 1920. Yeah, okay, yeah. And that was when you were called. Was it? What was it? Was it Sketchy called you? What was Pinball your nickname? 94 was Pinball Wizard. Yeah. And I got Sketchy, Shaggy. Yeah. I had loads, and most of them got made up by Jim McCroy as well. Oh, brilliant. So, <laughs> what, what does it feel like to have all these old school riders back again? 
Oh, it's ace. I mean, the atmosphere here this weekend is just good fun. Yeah, a lot yeah. of guys coming back. They're all a little bit nervous of riding because they've not rode for a Me long too. time. But yeah, I mean, you get, you're bound to be if you've not rode for yeah. a few years. But yeah, it, it's meant just to see everybody come back and have a go. And it almost feels like we've had one day on the hill. Everybody's been chatting. It feels like uh, not that long ago. But some of the guys I've not seen for many, many years. So it's great that somebody like Jason can bring us all back together so many years later. Race day today, um, busted out the old Royal kit from about 99, this is the Mark 1 Royal kit, nice to still have it. Uh, we were meant to go and have one, one run this morning, a bit late out of bed, so not a lot really happened there. But we managed to do the procession run down, which Petey had sorted out, we started halfway, uh, we stopped halfway, sorry, and they did a bit of a commemoration to Jason McCroy, where we... Uh, some of the lads spread his ashes, a little bit of a talk, and it was, uh, to be honest, it was quite emotional. You know, you could see how much he meant to some of these top riders. And then we had our seeding run. So we got the seeding run out of the way. I've got to admit, I was pretty chuffed because I got I beat, uh, I think it was 11 old school elite riders. To me, they're still elites. But uh, it was nice to get out of the way and we've got the race runs coming up. But the, the thing about the race runs, Rob Warner is sort of taking it a bit too serious for everyone. So there's a bit of a sting in the tail for him. We're all going to stop at the bridge as he's the last rider down and he's going to come down flat out trying to have the, the ride of his life but we'll all be there stopping and shouting at him and having a beer and we'll see if he stops or carries on and takes the glory Peter's plan worked a treat, it was absolutely perfect, absolutely awesome weekend. Warner got second behind Burton, they had a, uh, a bit of a bet on whoever, whoever won, the other one had to have their time tattooed on them, so that's worked out perfect. So Warner's going to have to have Bertie's time tattooed on him, I hope he has it on his arse. And the weekend's been absolutely perfect, loved it. It couldn't have been better and that couldn't have been a better way to end it. Thanks a lot, British Downhill Series.